In this demo, I'm going to show you how to begin integrating streaming telemetry natively from Annex OS into a monitoring dashboard. We're going to use well-known open source tools that are widely available as well as Docker container that Cisco has developed. The expectation is that the Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Docker are already installed and configured. The installation and configuration of this is outside the scope of this recording. As part of this, from 2NIKV, I will use a Python script to gather information via the RESConf API, and then mark this information to a YAML file. In this instance, I will gather the BGP peers and also the interfaces that are administratively set up. As you can see, two new files have been created with the relevant BGP information for each device that I want to send telemetry data. I will now repeat this process with a different script to gather the interfaces that are administratively set up on both devices. Using a separate script, I will now populate our young models with this information and again leveraging the RESTConf API. I will make the HTTP post to configure telemetry in a seamless manner. It is going to set the destination IP and port the transport protocol, as well as the encoding and the cadence at which it is to be sent. In this instance, we will use GPB over gRPC for efficiency. Now you can see that telemetry is configured on the devices, but it is not yet connected as there is no receiver to connect to. So now we're going to set up the receiver by applying a sample container that Cisco has posted to the Docker Hub. We can just pull and attach to this container. This container takes GPB and converts it into JSON and forwards it to the Elasticsearch. We now start the telemetry receiver and pass with the required parameters. In this instance, it is the port listen on and the port and IP to send to the JSON data too. By default, it will send the data to an index called telemetry, but this can be easily changed. And in this demo, we're going to send it to an index called demo receiver. As you can now see, the switches show that they have connected and are sending the data successfully to the receiver. The last step is to display this data on a dashboard. We first need to add this new index pattern into Kibana. Now that we have successfully created the index, let's build the first visualization. This visualization will be composed of a data table. It will use data from the index pattern that we just created called demo receiver. Next, we will search for the domain name that contains the BGP information that we require. We will now add the attributes that we want to display. This requires knowledge of the Nexus DNE, which is outside of the scope of this video, but you can find documentations on Cisco DevNet. Next, we will add the host names and the manner in which they have to be ordered. The address is up to the configured peers on each switch. The operational state of these peers and the timestamp of the last flap of each of these individual peers. This visualization can now be saved and added to the dashboard. As you have just seen, in a matter of minutes, you can automate the configuration of Annex OS streaming telemetry, the deployment of the sample receiver, and building visualizations to display this data on the dashboard. And this is just a minor subset of the information that is available via streaming telemetry on NXLS. For more information about telemetry and programmability options on NXLS, please visit Cisco DevNet. Ciao!